region has a whole basket full of natural attributes and so many natural resources. Beautiful soil to grow things in. If you look at some of the history books about the, the sense of wonderment at the early people when they sort of, you know, add water will grow. They were just stonkered at what this region was able to produce. Since the 1960s, the, the Loxton Research Centre has been welding technology for a number of crops, including grapes, stone fruit like apricots, almonds, which is now booming across the country, vegetables of numerous types and irrigation science, disease and pest management, biological control, spray technology. There are a host of good news stories that have come out of this centre over its history. How do we take what was once brilliant and make it brilliant again? So I think that's where we're at now. I think they've made this building brilliant and now we've got to house it with first class researchers and first class knowledge and retain some of our local knowledge, keep the youth coming through and then we'll keep enhancing our agricultural industries and yeah, I think the centre's going to be great to do that. There was shared concerns for a long time about um, how we're going to make this something that is really, really first rate and as well as looking first rate is going to be really functional. And I think now that we can see it, and I hope that all of community can come and see it, is something for the entire region to be very, very proud of. Being a small company in the Riverland, at tendering against the big, big companies in Adelaide, and to win the project has been fantastic. 90% of the contractors on this project were all local contractors. So it's huge for our area. It kept all the money here in the Riverland. The Loxton Research Centre is going to form a really important integral part of our research and development going forwards. Almonds form an integral part of this region, I think. You know, it brings in about $200 million to South Australia. What we're hoping to do is collaborate with scientists to see if we can produce almonds on a smaller footprint. Currently, we tend to do them in 50 to 100 hectare lots. Um, we're hoping that we can get it down to 10 or 20 hectare lots. So if the scientists can help us with uh, perhaps some rootstocks and get a more intense farming method, if you like, for the future, that could make us more sustainable. We are citrus and wine grape growers uh, just out of locks at a place called Pipe in the Riverland. And myself and two brothers, we've recently sort of taken over from Dad and bought his share of the business out. The Psalms grant has been pretty massive for our little family business. We grow this really good fruit and then we'd have a, um, a windstorm or, um, or a week of hot windy weather and it would scratch and scar our fruit. It's human nature to people that people want a good piece of fruit. So we thought, well, what are the ways we can try and guarantee this? The netting of our citrus, it's a full cover structure that goes over 20 hectares of our orchard. It lets rain through, but it slows the wind speed down dramatically. We have found with a couple of years of data now that, that it's done exactly what we hoped it would do. It just creates a bit of a buzz about the Riverland again. I guess our cooler is something that has really got people talking. The Nets have got a lot of people in our industry talking and it just gets things going. And I guess the money that we're, we're going to possibly make off it, or we are making off it, that, that's money coming back to our region and going to the people we employ. And it's a cycle that gets things happening. Loxton Research Centre has a legacy reputation and a reputation for excellence. It had its heyday and then it had its dip and I think we're about to head back into the heyday. We've seen the history of development of the Loxton Research Centre has involved people doing research, building together, teaming together with industries. A wonderful success story. The groundwork is laid to build a new future here. This centre really does create the opportunity for us to turn around that very common perception that the Riverland is a high volume producing region without necessarily producing the quality. But if you look through each of the commodity groups, the standards of production and the quality of fruit, whether you're growing cherries or apricots or citrus, right into the vast range of wine grapes, that capability combined with this new centre means that we can really work together with government to turn around that very common perception that it's just the Riverland into it is the Riverland that we here in South Australia and Australia are incredibly proud of.